Hi guys, isn't she lovely? Welcome to the cave, welcome to another highlight video and in this case on this Series 1 E-Type Jack with its 4.2 liter V8, so not the 3.8, the 4.2 liter V8 in this case and as you can see a true race monster. A lot of work has been done on this car by a monster house uh, in the Netherlands, uh, true specialists in these jacks and let's just walk us through it. Let's first start with the proportional statement of the E-Type, this superbly long bonnet and according to some perhaps even too long but I wouldn't agree with that. Great bonnet, you sit all the way on the rear axle as a driver and a passenger so this is not a 2 plus 2, this is a two-seater car. Like I said, cap rearward, the cabin all the way towards the back. And we'll have a look at that fantastic roof line a little bit later. But let's focus first on the front end here. This long bonnet with these typical feminine shapes that Jaguar applied during the reign of Sir William Lyons, who was very much active as the head of Jaguar in design too. So here at the front, the down the road graphics, so the culmination, let's say, of the headlights and the grill is this friendly, open, almost smiling front end. In this case, of course, emphasized by the lipstick around and the two racing stripes there. But the surfacing is actually very sculptural, very modern, one could argue. It's very much integrated. We see the volumes coming from the headlight going all the way towards the A-pillar where they culminate sort of around that area moving into the side of the car. And then of course what we still see at Jaguars any single time of Jaguar basically to this day is this volume here, this power bulge on the bonnet. Very typical Jaguar DNA but it started basically with the XJ and the E-Type or the XKE in the States. This car, because it's a race car, has of course the plastic covers and no chrome around the headlights there. And moving towards the side of the car, we see of course these typical wire wheels pushed relatively deep inside of the bodywork. Because this is a Series 2, the bodywork is up and over the front and the rear tires. And of course, the later series, especially the Series 3, had this more opened up wheel well with a bit of a facet running around, a bit more modern, one could argue, but of course, this is very typical of the E-Type and its stance, which, yeah, is just unique. It's a truly unique piece of automotive design. And legend says that even Enzo Ferrari said this was the most beautiful car in the world. Others say that he never said that, but well, he could have said it about this E-Type, couldn't he? Of course, we've got the bullet mirrors there. Like I said, lovely touches of jewelry, including the very sculptural door handle there. Super clean and minimalistic with, again, that lovely bit of sculpture. Of course, this being this performance car, including its roll cage uh, and, and, and basically full racing spec, uh, side windows in plastic, etc. It has these way more beefy Dunlop racing tires and of course sitting quite differently in its rear hunch there. And the E-types were coach built as well, which is of course something I'd like to touch on. They were coach built into some radical pieces of automotive design, specifically, for instance, the lightweight E-Type, as well as other sort of fast back and um, radical changes to this lovely body shape that they came out with. But this is basically a standard E-Type in its big lines, but of course all the details are different, like I said, the different stands on these Dunlop tires, and it's clean rear end and front end because it doesn't have the chrome bumpers. Here at the rear end we see the lovely Series 1 clean, perfect little tail lights, in this case in red without the ochre indicators. Um, so a US spec tail light set this is. And then of course here culminating in this big fat exhaust coming out of the back. 
Of course, like I said, a racing car, so we've got the plastic windows, including the struts to hold everything in. And then here, the fuel filler cap, of course, real metal. So during racing, it was very easy, to, and it still is very easy, to fill this car up, because it might be thirsty if you throw it around the circuit. This fantastic piece of English automotive design is now available here in CAVE, in Uden. And for now, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in to this highlight video. And please do enjoy the luscious shape of this E-Type Series 1 Coupe.